In addition, uh, one of the other things that Primo does is obviously it restricts the vertical growth of the grass plant. Uh, by doing this, uh, you don't have to mow as low and you can increase uh, green speed. So this makes the turf grass plant healthier and yet you can still get the green speed that most members want. Um, obviously now one of the new problems we're seeing is this bacterial etiolation. And um, this is a new bacterial disease and particularly a problem on creeping bed grass. And we seem to have found it on many, if not most, of the newer creeping bed grass cultivars like A4, G2, Thai, uh, Crenshaw, and I assume that most of them are also going to be susceptible to it. Um, we don't have any controls as of yet, but one of the ways we've been able to suppress this etiolation is through the use of Banner Max and Primo Max. Um, unlike bacterial wilt, where the plants are actually wilted, uh, with bacterial etiolation you get these yellow shoots that are often an inch to two inches uh, above the turf. You get these yellow shoots that are 2.5 to 5 centimeters above the normal canopy and uh, the plant keeps producing them every night after night after night and so consequently the plant eventually runs out of energy by producing these yellow shoots. So where you may not control the bacteria inside the plant, if you can stop the plant from etiolating and using up all its energy to throw up these shoots, uh, you can keep the plant healthy during the summer stress period when the bacteria are plugging up the xylem vessels. Um, you know, oftentimes uh, I get asked the question, uh, can I use Banner Max with Primo? And the answer is yes. Will they both tend to uh, restrict the vertical growth of the plant? Yes, but they're two completely different mechanisms. Um, the Banner product works very easy early in the gibberellic acid cycle, where the Primo works very late in the cycle. So it's not like putting on Banner Max along with a Trimit, where they both act in the same area of the uh, gibberellic acid uh, production cycle. And there I have seen some problems, but. Uh, I really have not seen any problems with Banamax and Primo applied uh, on greens during the summer weather. Uh, and I, my thing is not to pick on any other fungicide, but Banner does not seem to have the real strong plant growth regulating qualities that some of the other DMI fungicides have. And therefore, it's one of the safest DMIs to use during the summer period on poor annual greens. Some of the more uh, efficacious DMI fungicides are really hard on the real dense type poas when you put them on during the hot weather. We tend not to see this with Banner Max either applied by itself or with Primo. One of the, the great things about Primo Max, it, in addition to it greening up the color of the fairway, because you're not getting a lot of growth, you tend to have a more uniform cut. The fairway looks totally uniform, smooth, right across the entire fairway. And I think that's a great advantage for the golfer rather than having some areas where it might be a little higher or a little lower. And Primo Max, by reducing that top growth, really, really helps to make those fairways very uniform and smooth. Yeah, another, another good thing that we found is that, you know, we've had some strange winters lately. Sometimes the snow comes early, sometimes the snow comes late. Uh, many people now are using uh, covers to prevent ice damage. And if you get a uh, winter like we're having right now where it's very warm and you put the covers down, sometimes the grass continues to grow under the covers because it's nice and warm. On the other hand, if you use Primo, you can suppress a lot of that growth and you don't have that problem with the turf regrowing again under the uh, covers that are put on there or for that matter, uh, even under the uh, snow cover that may come later.